Parent company Nexstar Broadcasting turned 26 years today, and every year on this date, we volunteer in the community. News 13's Jennifer Blake followed our team today to get the inside look on how we give back. Picking up trash and painting for a good cause. The News 13 team split up to pick up trash in Socastee and get a home one step closer to being moving and ready in Conway. There's people who need good homes and stuff, and and uh, when you can supply a home like this to somebody in need in a family and the dreams they have, it's just it's terrific. Supplying affordable homes is what the Habitat for Humanity of Horry County is doing, and News 13 employees are helping prepare them. On Founders Day for Nexar Broadcasting, some of the News 13 team helped paint the inside of a home that's being built. It's wonderful, all the sponsors and volunteers and the home buyers, that's what makes this happen. This home in the Hopes Crossing community is going to a family in need. It's one of more than a dozen homes in the neighborhood built for that same reason. One woman in the program whose home is being built says she's thankful. It's a blessing to be a part of such a wonderful program. I can't wait to get my house so I have a three-year-old so he can have a yard and run around and play, get him a little puppy. I'm just excited about it. Chaprell Busby says this program has taught her a lot. I'm doing stuff that I never thought that I would do. So learning how to paint, putting down flooring, um, doing siding, I'm learning a lot. So not only am I helping someone, I'm helping myself by learning how to do new things. So Another woman in the program, Melanie Dennison, says having the News 13 team help her get this home ready makes her happy. I am just so glad that y'all came out to help me today. Oh, it made me feel wonderful. The News 13 team also volunteered with Keep Horry County Beautiful to help clean up Peachtree Road and near the Socasty Swing Bridge. Reporting for News 13, I'm Jennifer Blake. And our service wasn't limited to Horry County. News 13 also had crews on the streets in the PD. In Florence, crews were cleaning up trash in the area of Edisto Drive from Second Loop Road down to Cherokee Road. Pickup lasted four hours. Volunteers say the area deserves to have its natural beauty preserved. It's bad for the environment. It makes your neighborhood look bad. When people drive through this area, it's a beautiful area through here. When people drive through here, we don't want them to see trash. We want them to see beautiful.